In Resolve 15, you use the Fairlight tab to deal with the audio of your project. So if you come down here and click on Fairlight, you have all these different effects you could add to it, like a chorus or a reverb, or you could do some noise reduction with it. And it's a very powerful tool, but one of the uh, capabilities it has that I don't think many people know about is the ability to generate test tones and uh, noise uh, for, say, like background noise or for testing purposes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the test tones and set that up so you can add it to your project. So you want to make sure you're in the Fairlight tab. And you come over here, you want to create a new track. So I'm just going to create a mono track. And you come over here to the input in the mixer. Click that, click on input. Then for the source, you want to scroll down here until you get to where it says system test tones. Click on that, it gives you three different choices. And the ones you'd probably want to use the most are either the oscillator or the noise. So we'll start off with the oscillator. And now on the destination, you want to make sure that your new track, your audio 2, is selected. And when it's selected, you'll have a white outline around it. That means these two are ready to be patched. So you come down here to the right and patch it. That means this outputs to the audio channel. Now when you want to uh, just test to hear the tone, as soon as you hit the arm, chord arm, on the second channel, you'll start hearing the tone. So I'll demonstrate that now. So now you're actually hearing the tone, but it's not being recorded. So you can, and if you want to adjust it, come up in the Fairlight menu, and you come down to Test Tone Settings, and that brings up this dialog box, and here you can change the frequency of the tone, you can change the tone, uh, the tone level, how loud it is, and if you're using the noise, you could actually change it from white to pink. I'll show that in a second. And if you want to do it while still not recording, hit that, you can change the frequency. And then when you're ready to record and you have it set up right, just get ready to record, hit the arm, and then hit the record button. And it'll record that tone. And you can hit stop and then disarm it. And now if you play it back, you'll hear the tone. Okay, and then I'll delete that. And now I'll switch it over to the white noise or the noise. So you still want it patched here. We want to change the patch. So you go to source, to some test tones, and you want to unpatch the oscillator. So you click on that click on the audio, make sure that's selected, and click Unpatch. And you want to come to the Noise, and then the Audio 2, and patch those two. And now you get the Noise. And you can close this window, come back up to Fairlight, come to the Test Tone Settings, and here you can change either from white noise to pink noise, and you can change the level. So I'll just demonstrate white noise right now. So it's the same step, you hit the Record Arm button here. Now you can hear the noise, you can change the level, louder or softer, and if you want to change, you could also change the pink, which is just, just a different type of noise. Go back and forth. And then when you're ready to record, just hit record like you did before with the test tone, and that will record that noise. And then stop when you're done, and you can turn it off. And if you come back here and play it through, we'll get the noise. Now again, if you have, say, a, a kind of a background noise in a room normally or outside, and then you record a different section that doesn't have that noise, you come in here and generate your own background noise to kind of match the tracks. And again, for testing purposes, you could create the tones uh, for various reasons that you want for whatever you, your needs are. But that's how you use uh, Resolve 15 and use the Fairlight tab to generate your own test tones and background noise. Hopefully you found this video useful and I thank you for watching.